Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the home of Motorsports Talk. This is MotorsportsRadio.net, NASCAR Camper World Truck Series Racing, some Saturday night racing from St. Louis at the Gateway Motorsports Park. Now for the Motorsports Radio Breakdown. It was the drive for Lyman 200 from Gateway Motorsports Park, one and a quarter miles, pole setter Chase Briscoe in the 29 truck, John Hunter Nemechek in the number eight started second, and starting third was Christopher Bell in the number four. A four-wide salute to our troops. Some Saturday night truck racing in the nation's Midwest. Green flag flies and the field was off at 8.46 p.m. Eastern time. With the 29 and the 8 trucks side by side, Nemechek looking to get ahead. But Chase Briscoe not letting him get by. But lap one and the lap one into lap two. Nemechek gets the job done and becomes the race leader. Top three, lap three, John Hunter Nemechek, Chase Briscoe, and Todd Gillian, the 8, 29, and a 51. Lap 15, the last 20 laps of stage one, and a fight for first place as Briscoe was looking to get the lead back. Top two getting into some lap traffic at the tail end of the first stage. John Hunter Nemechek, Chase Briscoe, and Matt Crafton make up the top three at lap 33. And then stage one would finish at lap 35. Stage one winner, John Hunter Nemechek. Chase Briscoe comes in second. Matt Cra- so, uh, Chase Briscoe comes in second. And Matt Crafton would come in third, the 8, 29, and the double 8. Stage two, Briscoe finally getting back in front to start the second stage. Crafton starting in second, and Austin Sindrick starting in third. John Hunter Nemechek down in fifth, back to green at lap 43. John Hunt, Denima, Jeg works his way back up to the top three after this restart. Actually climbed up to third place at lap 44. Now lap 50 would start the last 20 of stage two, a short race on Saturday, as the truck races usually are. And, and short gaps. Christmas goes lead just 0. 0.3 seconds. A three point, excuse me, a 0. 0.3 Four three at lap fifty five. Stage two would finish up at lap seventy, and the winner of stage two would be Chase Briscoe. Matt Crafton would come in second, and John Hunter Nemechek third. The twenty nine eighty eight and the eight. Stage three starting lineup, and this was weird. It was Christopher Bell in front, Ryan Truex in second, and Todd Dillon in starting third. Top three who. These three guys did not pit, allowing them to take the top three spots, the 4, 16, and the 51. Back to green at lap 78. With the stars out and the lights up as the sky darkens, Briscoe works his way back up to second. He actually started in fifth, stage three. Uh, Top three, lap 79, Chris Abel, Chase Briscoe, and Ryan Truex. Then a battle for the lead between the 4 and the 29 trucks. Briscoe trying to get by again. And does, Briscoe would take the lead at around lap 80, lap 81. Briscoe, Chris Bell, Ryan Truex now around the top three. Then we get Matt Crafton coming in. He would move up to third at around lap 100. So now it's Briscoe, Bell, and Crafton. Briscoe's lead now, two and a half seconds, 2.7 at lap 112. At this point, was the biggest lead, but that at this point of the race. Bad news, though, for the twenty for the 51 truck, some issues. Um, it turns out that it was official that it was a transmission issue. Lap 113, driver of the 51, Todd Gilliland, uh, he has to the garage. Uh, he would not finish. Now we get to lap 125, Crafton moving up to take second. Then we get lap 127 and around of green flag pit stops. Ben Rhodes was the first customer. Top three. Uh, the top three trio gets broken up a little bit with Christopher Bell pitting. And that would allow Nemechek to move up to third. And then the race leader, Briscoe, delaying his pit stop. The 29 team not too eager to give up the lead. But Briscoe would eventually come into pit at lap 133 for a quick stop. And then, as Briscoe is getting back out onto the track, Matt Crafton flies by. He would take second, Briscoe on third, because the leader at this point was actually Justin Haley, the 24 truck. Haley would then come into pit for his pit stop, and uh, therefore we would get another new leader. Matt Crafton would then move up to take the lead. Briscoe moves up to second, and Christopher Bell would work his way back up into third. And this would be the top three after the green flag pit cycle. Now at the start of the last 20 laps, and then we get question number three. 
This is the third question. Um, the first two questions were actually stage questions, but the question three will come out lap 147. Uh, Josh Rayom, the 50 truck goes around. I, he didn't really bang the wall. He kind of just loose. It looked like he might have just tapped the wall a little bit, but they brought the caution out anyway. Restart lap 152. And of course, you know, a, a truck spun, so they would have to take bring out the question. Uh, restart here will be lap 152. Now inside of the last 10. Crafton still in front. Christopher Bell chewing on his back bumper after this restart. The pole sitter chasing down the race leader. But then John Hunter Nemechek creeps up on Crafton's inside. So it's Crafton, Nemechek, and Bell. Lap 154. John Hunter Nemechek with an inside pass gets by and takes the lead. Crafton would then drop down to third. Bell was running second. And here comes Chase Briscoe, who dropped all the way down to sixth. He moves up now to take third. Nemechek in front, Bell second, Briscoe third. White flag flies lap 159. Check it at lap 160. And the winner of the drive for Lyman 200, John Hunter Nemechek. Now, uh, Chase Briscoe tried to man a nice little inside pass in the grass, a little side bump on Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell actually dropped down to six, but here is the top five finishes unofficial. John Hunter Nemechek for the win. Chase Briscoe comes in second. Johnny Sauter third. Kraft, Matt Crafton would come in fourth, and Grant Infinger would come in in fifth. That's the eight, the twenty nine, the twenty one, the eighty eight, and the ninety eight. Race info, three questions, three, uh, five leaders, nine lead changes, fastest lap 134.008 miles per hour, race length, one hour, 50 minutes, and 12 seconds, source NASCAR.com. Next up on the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series schedule, next race is next Friday, another Friday night race from Iowa. From North Babylon, New York, this is Manny Allegretta. Happy Father's Day on this Father's Day weekend. And this is the home of Motorsports Talk, motorsportsradio.net.